Hi, I'm Natalie and welcome to another fall fashion trend slash styling video. In this video, we're going to look at more fall 2020 trends and how to style them for everyday life. I'm also thrilled to announce that this video is sponsored by Essence, one of my favorite online retailers for contemporary and luxury fashions such as Balenciaga, Alexander McQueen, Maison Margiela, The Frankie Shop, Ambush, Sakai, just to name a few. They recently had further markdowns on their end of season sale and I picked up some amazing finds that I'm going to be styling in this video. Before we begin, I'm going to ask you to show me some love by please giving this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. When it comes to denim, Fendi showed elevated denim on the runway, Versace showed some laminated jeans and denim micro minis on their fall 2022 show, and Bottega Veneta did a beautiful wide leg denim paired with a classic white tank and accessorized it with an oxblood braided bag. Denim is classic in our everyday wardrobes and I'm excited to be adding some Levi's 501s to my closet. These classic straight leg wedgie jeans were 50% off on Essence and I paid $60 Canadian, which is amazing because they fit a million times better than my A Goldie denim and they look a lot better on the bum and in the thighs which is a problem in 99% of the jeans that I own so I am really happy with these Levi's 501s and I actually added a second pair to my wardrobe which I'll be showing you later on in this video for reference I got these in a size 27 and they fit perfectly I'm 5'4 and I buy a 26 in A Goldie now for my daytime look of styling these denim, it's very simple. I'm just wearing an oversized white shirt, a thrifted men's blazer, my box bag from Balenciaga, and a pair of black loafers from Reformation, which are another hot trend for fall 2022. Now, if you watch my style videos or if you follow me on Instagram, then you know I'm a big fan of versatility and styling things multiple different ways. For the date night version of my denim, I would style the same white shirt with my Alexander Wang kitten heels, which by the way are another 2022 trend and I've had these in my wardrobe for maybe a decade now. I would also style it with my Bottega Veneta pouch. This one is pre-loved from LXR Co. And I'll leave my discount code down in the description below if you're interested in saving 20% off. Now, depending on the time of year and where you live in the world, you can style this look as is or pop a coat over top in case it gets chilly. But this is a classic look and regardless of the season, regardless of what year it is, I think it's something that you could probably wear over and over again and still look very chic and put together. While I think of suits as more of a staple in my wardrobe, they're trending all over the runway for 2022 and I'm here for it. From Chanel's beautiful colored tweeds to Dior, Balmain, and Kenzo, I like the idea of breaking up a suit and styling it in a new way to keep myself from getting bored with my wardrobe. I always say that it's not about how much clothes you own, but it's about styling things in a new way to keep your wardrobe looking fresh and current. Both my blazer and my vest are from Essence and they're currently on sale. The vest I think is sold out, but the blazer is from the Frankie shop and it's the gel soap blazer that's available in pink, beige, and gray. By the way, I recently picked up these tabby socks during the Essence sale. I keep getting asked questions. The tabby shoes are incredibly comfortable, by the way, and there's a bunch of styles on sale on Essence, so definitely check them out. And then another thing that I recently picked up is this beautiful mouchoir bag from Margiela. I had to look this up, but mouchoir actually means handkerchief in French, which makes sense because this beautiful leather tote has this almost origami-like shape to it, and I think it's absolutely stunning. I love how it's oversized. I'm not really into totes. I'm somebody who's more into small bags, but for some reason, I am really feeling the tote bags for fall, and I'm really happy that I was able to score this one. By the way, it was on sale for over 50% off. I think it's sold out now, but I'll make sure that I link some other Margiela bags in the description below. All right, let's take a second to look at some really amazing beauty things that I've been loving recently. NARS has some incredible foundations and tinted moisturizers that I'm gonna leave linked down in the description below. But basically, if I want sheer coverage, I'll go with the Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturizer for every day. And if I want full coverage, then I go for the Light Reflecting Advanced Skincare Foundation. This is the one that I'm using on camera in this video. I think it works great for events and for on camera, for pictures, videos, all of that good stuff. And it lasts a really long time time too so shout out to NARS for making good makeup. Now we've already talked about denim and all the different denim types that they did for fall 2022 according to the runway and all the designers interpretations of it 
but I like a good classic simple straight leg and that is why I ended up picking up another pair of these Levi's 501s from the SN sale. These ones are in a sort of faded black charcoal color and they do have that distressed knee. These are also a size 27. They're 100% cotton, so I know they're gonna retain their shape really well. And I like that they're just such a classic and gorgeous cut. I'm wearing these ones with a striped shirt that I got from Amo Paris, I believe, a few years ago during another Essence sale. The blazer is tweed and it's Adder Air, which is an amazing brand from Korea. And this one was also on sale, but I picked it up last season. And then I have my Margiela tabby boots and then just a simple classic pair of sunglasses from Saint Laurent. The bag is that Mouchoir bag from Margiela. Again, it was on sale. It sold out. I got the last one. I'm so sorry, but I will again link a few other of my Margiela favorite bags down in the description below. Geometric bags are something that's really in for fall. So if you're looking to update your bags, then look for interesting shapes. Prada has that really gorgeous triangle one that everybody has been rocking. Fendi has some really cool geometric shape bags, as does Hermes, depending on your price point. Now, I'm so excited to show you this next piece that I picked up during the SN sale because I think it is truly a special piece. Now, this is a beautiful Margiela MM6 vest or a denim top as they call it on the website. But it's got these gorgeous raw edges and it's coated and it's got this amazing sheen on it, which you can kind of see on camera. And it has a zippered front. Corsets are so in for fall and I love the idea of pairing this one with a wide leg trouser, another fall 2022 trend, and this gorgeous belt that I also picked up on sale and emphasizes the waist. What I like is that this piece, even though it's very feminine and a little different from my style, it really does kind of stay true to my personal style, which is adding pieces that are a little different, a little special, a little edgy. I don't like things that look too traditional. I feel very uncomfortable if I'm wearing something that's head to toe traditional. I like to sort of mess things up a little and just make them a little quirky, a little weird. And that really showcases my personality. I like to have things in there that are interesting and that have a bit of a sense of humor in there as well. And I think that this top really speaks to that. Now, I'm someone who likes to really maximize my wardrobe and make sure that I'm styling things in different ways from day to night, evening, dressed up, dressed down, all of that good stuff. So I like the idea of taking that corset trend and then using that top in a more casual setting. So here I'm wearing a pair of black leggings. These ones are stirrups from Balenciaga. This is a very simple black tank from Zara from many years ago. And then I left the corset top open and I just tied my belt around it. I'm gonna style this with my Bottega Veneta tire boots and those Port Tanger glasses that I absolutely adore. I did score these ones during an Essence sale earlier this year, so I'll make sure that I link the brand in my description. To top this off, because this is a fall look, we are going with a classic trench coat. This is one from uh, Reformation, and I sized up in this one because I wanted a slight oversized look, and I got this one in a medium. And then I'm going with that mouchoir bag from Marge and this is the looks on that corset trend and I've got that geometric bag but it's also something that I can wear time and time again and it doesn't have to feel like it's locked into one particular year or one particular trend and I love using pieces like this where you can take a trend put it away for a bit or make it seem like it's more current depending on how you style it Now, speaking of corsets, here I'm going to be using this amazing hourglass blazer that I picked up at a consignment shop. This one is from the Frankie shop and I think they called it Colette. Yes, the Colette blazer. I don't think they make it anymore, but I'm gonna be styling this with that Margiela belt that I picked up during the Essence sale. I have this one in a size medium, by the way, and they do have a black version, but there was something about the brown version that I was very much drawn to in the sense that it adds some contrast to my outfits. I wear a lot of all black, so I like 
like the idea of contrasting it with some brown just to kind of tone things down a little bit and to add some nice visual interest. Now these shoes are from Prada and I've had these in my collection for a number of years and actually the very first time I wore these I got caught in the rain and I almost oh my gosh I was mortified because suede and water do not mix we all know this. Now for the stirrups look I'm going to be putting these over my shoes. This is a question that I got asked on a lot during some of my previous videos. This is not necessarily how you have to style stirrups. It's just how I like to wear them because I think it looks really neat. Um, one of my favorite stylists and designer for Wardrobe NYC, Christine Centenera, she styles her stirrups this way and I think it looks super cool and fresh and contemporary. So do it over the shoe, under the shoe, whatever makes you happy, doesn't matter. Now the overall look is very simple. It emphasizes the waist beautifully. I love the all black. I think it's very chic. I love how that little pop of brown just adds something to this look and I feel very comfortable in it. So this is my evening look. Now that is everything for this video. Please make sure you subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, follow me on Instagram, follow me over on Pinterest. I'm pretty much everywhere. Thank you so much for watching and thank you for all of your support. I really appreciate it. Also thank you Essence for sponsoring this video. Once again, I will make sure I leave all of those outfits in the description below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.